Hi guys, my name is Eddie, and this is a crypto for you. Look at this. Bitcoin has actually broken the 200 day moving average. This is really important because I remember in the previous video, I actually talked about for us to be bullish, we have to break the biggest moving averages, including the 200 day moving average and the moving averages on the weekly time frame, which we also broke. But not only that, if you go on the 4 hourly time frame, you can see that we broke our box we broke out of the sandbox we are actually pumping i believe bitcoin is really bullish oh and also sorry for me not making videos i actually was camping for a whole entire week and there was no cell service there oh yeah and also i lost my glasses but anyway let's talk about bitcoin so let's get into the video so look at this bitcoin has been jumping inside of this sandbox for already over like four or five months now and it broke out and it's right now pumping. It broke through a bunch of resistance box, broke through the sandbox, and now it actually got reject. Uh, it, uh, it broke the 20 week moving average. I would say that's the one of the most important, yes, yeah, probably the most important moving average on the weekly time frame. The 50, the 100, the 200, that comes after the 20. The 20 uses the bull market and the bear market, like shows the trends. So since we broke. You, you can see that when we broke below here, since we broke down, we started going into a bearish trend. You can see that ever since we broke above it, right over here, after this corona dump, we actually were in a bull market. And ever since we broke down, this was acting as resistance. And we were getting wedged, if I hide all of this, you can see that we were getting wedged between the 20 and the 50. And of course, I was like... One day, we're going to have to break out either to the upside or to the downside. It's basically like a ticking time bomb. And I'm so glad that Bitcoin broke above it. But this is not the only thing. This, is the, this does not mean Bitcoin is bullish, even though I'm really, really bullish on Bitcoin now. Because look at this. This is a VPVR level, big resistance level right here. And this resistance level will keep us from actually going higher. And this resistance line actually keeps us from actually going to $50,000 to $60,000. So we have to break it. But there is something even more important. But this is kind of bullish. The Bollinger Bands. I was really worried about the Bollinger Bands mouth opening while we were below the band. But since we broke above the 20 week moving average we have a trend reversal on the weekly time frame you might be wondering why this is this so important well because trend reversals or basically you guys can think about it with your brain trend reversals you have a bullish trend and a bearish trend if you had the trend reverses it's now from a bullish it went from a bullish trend it went to a bearish trend and if the bullish bands open while we were b below the 20 week moving average we have a bearish trajectory so you'll actually fall down but since we actually reversed the trend and now we're above the 20 week moving average if bitcoin opens its mouth right now we will have a big pump you can see that right here right let's just show when we broke with the covid dump we started going up we actually broke it right here and we were kind of staying sideways a while but as soon as this bit the bitcoin um Mouth opened a lot, even though it opened a little bit here, but it was only one of the bands. As soon as both of them opened, boom, the price like that goes really, really high. And we kept pumping, and we kept pumping until one of the Bollinger Bands closed and started closing really fast. And then we actually started dumping when both of the Bollinger Bands closed. So, you can see that this Bollinger Bands was actually opening... And as soon as it closed, we started pumping. So, this is really important. We have a trend reversal. We're breaking all the resistance lines. This is really, really bullish. Really, really bullish for Bitcoin. It's breaking all the resistance line On the daily time frame, let's turn on the resistance and support lines. Maybe even hide the indicators. Uh, wait. Uh, like here, you can see that on the daily time frame, we broke the 200-day moving average and... Already, all the other moving averages are broken. On the 4 hourly time frame, we're also already bullish. And on the weekly time frame, we are bullish. Monthly time frame, don't even ask about that. We were always bullish. We were always above it ever since the COVID dump. And we're not going to go down to it. Probably not. The monthly chart, guys, not that much data. You shouldn't even use it. So, that's the, the VPVR, the Ichimoku small level right there. And... 
the Bollinger Bands. That's the only thing I'm right now waiting for us to do to break. So to for the Bollinger Bands, I wait for us to open the Bollinger Bands, and that will actually make Bitcoin pump a lot. The VPVR just has some kind of resistance level right here that we have to break, but I believe we will break it or bounce around inside of this box. But I believe we will break it if we get rejected. By the way, guys, um, we will probably go down to forty-one thousand dollars, but we probably will bounce again. So. I mean, we could start bouncing around this level, but I believe we have a lot of momentum. Because, think about this. We were bouncing inside of this box for five months already. Four months, five months, six months. Uh, I lost track already. But, what do you think will happen if we're bouncing around? Everybody's bored with Bitcoin. Bitcoin suddenly pumps up. FOMO. Everybody's going to have fear of missing out. It's all psychological. All those people will start buying Bitcoin because they're afraid that they're going to start missing out. And if everybody buys it, all these resistance lines will just go, bah, and they're going to be gone. So, I believe if we get rejected, I still believe we will actually start pumping again and see we already broke this resistance line and the only resistance line we have left is this and the Ichimoku and this is making me really really bullish on Bitcoin so it's like the last stretch last jump we have to do to actually get to the finish line last obstacle if we jump over this obstacle I believe we will pump up because the R signs, Castor Cursi, are not even in the cell zones on the weekly time frame. On the daily time frame, though, it is a little bit high. But that is on the daily time frame. So on the daily time frame, let's just say we do get rejected. I believe we're bullish in the long term for Bitcoin. So wrapping up this video, what is Bitcoin doing? I believe it's really bullish. And the only resistance keeping us from going to all-time highs again is this res resistance line. Of course, on the daily time frame, we have the RSI and Stochastic RSI, which are actually a little bit high. So if we get rejected and fall back down to 41,000, do not panic. Because I believe that we will confirm support, maybe on this trend line, maybe somewhere inside of this box, and then go back up. We made new support, and you know, remember, it took us like five months to break the support, the resistance level, I mean. And now, maybe this is a really strong level, so I don't think we'll break this. But if we do break it, we go back into the sandbox, and we're going to have to wait for us again, and this would be a false breakout. But that would already be... Uh, that would already be a bearish pattern. So this is what I believe Bitcoin is doing. And so with this video wrapped up, I just want to say one more thing, guys. Sorry for not posting a video in a regular two weeks. I'll be posting videos every single day as much as I can, guys. I really want to. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't free. Don't forget to click that post notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!